Hi, this is Matt from FilmFormat.com, and in this video we'll be building the ideal travel tripod for DSLR video. A tripod is one of the most important investments you can make. That's why I spent a lot of time researching and testing many different makes and models to buy the best tripod for my needs. This is what I found out. One of the key factors during my search was to find a tripod that was as compact and light as possible. It also needed to be versatile and easy to adjust so I could raise and lower the sticks in one quick movement. The best sticks I found for the job were Gitzo's Traveler GT154 series. The GT154 series is incredibly light and compact, but also extraordinarily sturdy when set up. Made from carbon fiber, the sticks weigh only 2.2 pounds and hold a load capacity of up to 17.6 pounds. Completely folded up, the tripod is just 16 16.7 inches, which is small enough to fit onto a backpack or store in your carry-on luggage. With any tripod, you want it to extend to a comfortable shooting height while standing, and it doesn't disappoint. At its tallest, the tripod extends to 58.66 inches with the center column out. A nice hook is included in the bottom of the column that you can pull out and hang your bag or a weight to help keep your shot sturdy. You also have the option to remove the center column and turn it upside down for those of you looking to shoot low to the ground. This particular tripod does not come with a video head. I settled on Manfrotto's entry-level fluid head, the MVH500AH, which is perfect for DSLR video. It's not the lightest and most compact video head. In fact, it actually looks pretty awkward on top of these Gitzo sticks, but I'm sticking with Manfrotto until I find a more suitable solution. A leveling base is standard on all video tripods, and you'll want to make sure you have one on your own. People rave about the Acrotec leveling base, and I had to see why. It's not only lightweight, it's also extremely well-built and easy to use. A single knob allows you to tilt the base 15 degrees degrees in any direction which helps compensate for uneven ground. Now I can't argue that this is the most affordable travel tripod solution, but it definitely is the best. The tripod will cost about $525, the fluid head about $150, and another $150 for the leveling base, which adds up to a grand total of about $825. I used to hate using tripods on my own because they were heavy to lug around and set up quickly, which kept me from shooting steady, candid shots. This tripod has completely changed my shooting style and definitely improved my videos. I bring it with me wherever I go and never notice the extra weight. If you're interested in a more in-depth written review with a full listing of the pros and cons about this tripod, then feel free to click on this button. And as always, feel free to subscribe and visit filmformat.com for more filmmaking reviews and tutorials from yours truly. Thanks for watching.